Hey everyone, this is Austin from the Nerf Firefly Corporation, and this is the Nerf Zombie Strike Sledge Fighter. Now this blaster is honestly such a classic, and what's really cool is that it actually uses these shells, which hold three darts. Now what's even cooler is that it actually has a break barrel system, and so then you can just go ahead, load in a shell, and fire. Now every once in a while you might find one of these at a goodwill, but chances are that if you do, it's probably not going to have the shells. If you're lucky, it'll probably have like one or maybe even two. Although, it is possible that you could still find it with all three of the original shells that it came with. But it's just probably not going to happen because these shells do like to go missing. Now, if you are missing some shells, 3D printing can help with that. So today, that's what I'm going to be trying is 3D printing some Sledgefire shells because I think it'd be really cool to try. So let's go ahead and fire up the 3D printer. Alright guys, so I now have four of these 3D printed Sledgefire shells sitting right here. Now one thing I do want to mention is that unless your 3D printer comes out with absolutely perfect prints, like no mess at all, you're going to want to use a file on the insides of the shells because if you don't, all the little bumps and like the little strands of filament on the inside are going to totally shred your darts. So make sure to use a file on the inside of the shells so that you don't get shredded darts. But I do also advise that while filing the inside that you be careful because this shell right here actually broke. Maybe you can see the line where it broke there. So yeah, basically as I was filing it, it just totally broke. I don't know if this was maybe kind of a bad one and maybe the construction in that area was maybe not so good. But either way, it did break. But I did fix it as you guys can see. I did use some super glue on it and it does work actually, but... I don't know how well I would really hold up, so I still make sure to just print a fourth one anyways, but, you know, it does work, but just be careful, I guess, when filing, because you might end up breaking a shell. Oh, and by the way, if you want to print some of your own Sledgefire shells, I'll have a link to the STL down in the description, along with some other information. But with that out of the way, let's go outside and have some fun with these new Sledgefire shells. So overall, I definitely would recommend 3D printing some of these Sledgefire shells. It really is awesome to see how 3D printing can be utilized in the Nerf hobby and just truly how great of a resource it really can be. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys later.